Hello. All right. So a lot of people are curious on using muriatic acid and ciru stone uh, to clean them off or to bring out the darker coloring or to make these lines here appear more vivid. Um, this piece right here is going to be an awesome one, so I'll use this as my example. So this is dry uh, part of the stone here. You can see dry. Um, this is wet down here. So, I mean, you can see there's not much color difference between the dry Siru and the wet Siru. Uh, that's going to change. So, start. Disclaimer, always use gloves, uh, any kind of personal protection equipment. Gloves, respirator, eye protection, all of that is definitely recommended. Um, I don't, uh, but I do recommend it. So if you're using it, definitely do it. Uh, this is some serious stuff. It is a harsh acid. It is caustic. It will burn you. It does hurt if it gets on your skin, but it's not. I don't know. It doesn't hurt that bad, as stupid as that sounds, but don't don't get it on you. And the worst part is the fumes, and you'll see that in just a second. You do not want to breathe the fumes. Always make sure you're downwind of it. My hands are wet so I can't grab and peel. And then that happens. There we go. So you can see the fumes already. So the acid reacts with the rock. In as you can see. Instantly bubbling. Hardcore vapors coming off of it. But you can already see it's darker. So I'm going to put the whole gallon in here and I'm going to toss some other rocks in there as well. Uh, I usually let them sit in this acid for about three to five minutes. So we'll toss some others in there. I should have put them in there beforehand. Again, you don't want to get this stuff on you. But I have before and I've been burnt by worse. So it's really, for me, not that big of a thing. And you, now you can see. The reaction that occurs. So, see the fumes, and again, I'm staying upwind, so I am not breathing it in. So I'm going to let them sit for a while, and when we come back, I will show you how to neutralize it. So I switched containers. I actually just dumped that white one into the one that was actually holding all of the stones. I had planned on washing all of them anyway. I figured just get them all done at once. Um, what's cool about this, what you can do is if you really plan it out, you could actually make different lines or markings on the stones. I'm thinking of maybe uh, one day trying wax to cover up whole parts of the stone and then washing so uh, the stones have very light and dark contrast to, to help pull, pull depth better. But right now I'm just going to 
wash the whole stone. Uh, I don't, for this scape, it's, I don't really want to start experimenting with stuff like that. So, but yeah, they're bubbling. I'm about to neutralize the acid uh, using regular baking soda right here. And um, this is where I always do this, in the same area. It's just a rocky nothing path or whatever that I have. Uh, I do all my filter maintenance here and a whole bunch of other stuff. So nothing really grows here uh, as a result of that, except for pothos, which grows everywhere. Um, but a good part about it is it keeps the weeds away at least. So, rocks, muriatic acid reacting with the calcium that is inside of the rock, the calcium carbonate, as well as probably other minerals. I'm not a chemist, but I do know the reaction when you add baking soda with the acid is similar to adding baking soda with anything that is an acid. It neutralizes it. So. I add the baking soda in, and what this is doing is it's going to neutralize the baking soda uh, and also make the stones less caustic, so I won't have to worry about things when I handle them and all that stuff. And you can see instantly the reaction settles the stones, it settles all the volatility that was going on and all that cool reaction kind of just fades and now it looks like Alka-Seltzer. I wouldn't drink it though. So I'll let this continue to do its thing. Um, sit here and kind of stew in the baking soda mix. And then I will rinse them again and I will show you our original stone. Uh, one that I said will look absolutely amazing. Uh, it's right there, but I'll, once I clean it off, you'll get a better view of it. So I'm now rinsing the whole bucket of stones out. And you can see I just run a hose through it. It's now neutralized acid. Uh, I imagine the what's left over coming out of here is just a whole bunch of calcium uh, that's been removed from these rocks. Uh, so, I don't know. I haven't tested it. Like I said, I'm not a chemist. I just like to burn stuff on the weekends. Even though it's Thursday or something. But a lot of inquiries on this. It is a fun process to do. I recommend it for anybody who, uh, you know, wants to take their Siru to the next level because this will definitely enhance what your stones look like. And you guys will all see once I pull them all out. Um, it, it makes the stone looks better. It, it makes it easier to work with too because you actually see the, the lines and the veins and you know how to line them up then and yeah, so. I recommend it if you're working with Siru to acid, acid wash the stones. It does give the tank a darker feel. So again, like I was saying, I want to experiment with some wax covering parts of the stone before I acid wash and uh, see what that does. And then just kind of melt the wax off with a torch or something later. But that'll be in the future. Uh, but I think it gives the scape a cooler feel. Definitely makes it look more rich than that just light gray stone. But that's just my taste. Everyone's taste is different. So. Um, once this is done rinsing out, I'll pull our little stone out to show you the difference and we'll get a good idea of what's going on. So here's our stone. Much more character than before. Cleaner looking. You can see the veins, you can see how it would naturally sit. So yes, I like to acid wash the Siru, and I recommend it for folks using it. I'm not a big competition scaper or whatever, but I do like to make art once in a while other than just growing plants and being out in nature and finding new plants. This is my hobby aspect of it. So. I have all the rocks that I need now, and I will finish that escape and 
everyone can see it next year. But this is the process of acid washing Siru stone. Um, you can use the same process on other stones. Give it a try to see how the stones react. Um, if the muriatic acid makes the stones react like that, likelihoods are those stones are going to leach uh, the same calcium carbonate into your water, thus elevating your KH and pH. Uh, so yeah, I recommend you know if you have any stones around you or nature that you find and you want to test them to see what they are, uh, any kind of limestone or calcium carbonate stone. Uh, or a stone that has an elevated pH or potentially will leach uh, anything that will elevate your pH will react with the acid. Uh, the acid won't tell you if that stone is safe for water or anything like that, so you will have to do research to find out if your stone's like toxic or if it'll leach toxic stuff, but it will tell you if the stone's gonna alter your pH, uh, especially if it bubbles like that. If you try it on some dragon stone, um, it, it won't bubble, it won't do a thing. Uh, it'll clean the stone off if you got algae on it or stuff like that, like it's good to do to the dragon stone in between scapes, and I have done that. I, I, I do that as well for the dragon stone or ohaku stone. I like to soak it in the acid to get any kind of algae or whatever may be on there, kind of funk from the last scape, uh, scape before I put it away. So yeah, lots of uses for it. Again, disclaimer, use protection, use gloves wear eye goggles or glasses or whatever, eye protection. Um, use a respirator if you you know, have to or if you have like confined space. Don't do it indoors, do it outdoors. Um, but if it's a windy day and you don't know which way the wind's going, use, use a respirator. You don't want to breathe the fumes in, they're horrible. So yeah, if anybody has any questions, feel free to post a comment down there and if you guys would please like, subscribe, and share uh, this video for folks so they can see that this process isn't that difficult, it's not hard, um, it's not too dangerous as long as you have some common sense and take some safety protocol. Uh, but yeah, if anybody has any questions let me know. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.